Today, let's see how to create this dual tone axonometric diagram using only SketchUp. Yes, you heard it right. We won't be using Photoshop or Illustrator. I'm not saying you shouldn't use those softwares, but this is one of the quickest and easiest way to create an axonometric or any architectural diagram. Knowing these tricks might come in handy when you are running out of time on a submission or a nearing deadline. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. This is the image that I will be recreating in this video. So accordingly, I made this model in SketchUp, which matches to the one in the reference image. Initially, I was planning to render this using either D5 or Lumion. That's why you can see the different materials that I applied to the model. Now, since the whole idea has changed, let's see how to do this. So let's break down the image. Once it's broken down, we are left with 3D model, stylized trees and people and hatch patterns. I created all these and made them as individual packs. You can even download them as a bundle to follow along with this video. Now here comes the juicy part. Everything is free. You can download and use them without any worry. Now let's start applying these patterns as textures. Create a new material by clicking on this icon and load the hatch as a texture. Click OK and apply. You might need to adjust the scale of the texture. Then you can copy and apply this texture wherever you want. For this front facade, I will be applying this fence material from landscape category inside SketchUp itself. Don't forget to adjust its scale. I wanted to make it blue. I created some color swatches for this color palette. So I took its color code from Photoshop and applied it inside SketchUp. Since I modeled this as an axonometric section model, I didn't think of adding section planes. But I remembered adding section planes can be used to show section fills and outlines. So I just extruded the model a little bit to the sides. But when you guys are doing this illustration on your design projects, if your model is completed as a whole, you don't have to extrude anything. You can just keep section planes wherever you want. Go to Tools, Section Plane and place it vertically and move along the building and place it at a point where you have the most interesting section cut or detail. Let's keep this to the end. Then to change the color of the edges, go to Styles tab on right and click on Edit then click on this icon. Then click on this box and enter the RGB value for the color swatches from your color palette and click OK. Now for the faces in the model, Mostly all of them are white, so pick them using the material picker icon and go to edit and check this box and select RGB and slide all the sliders to right to make any material to white. Repeat the same for all the materials throughout the model. For few of them, I matched it to any one of the blue color in the color palette. I applied a dotted pattern as a material for the floor and also adjusted its skin. I even turned the blue tint of the glass to match the color palette in the same way using RGB values. After making sure the whole model is in white color with blue edges and filled with CAD patterns, now we can move to start placing trees and people. Hope you have downloaded them already. All these grass and trees are face me components. I copied the grass first and brought them inside the main SketchUp file and started populating the scene. You can scale a few to create more variety so that it doesn't look repetitive. Then I also brought a tree from the pack and scaled it to fit this diagram and model and placed it in the central courtyard like space. Now we can bring in the people. You can find more than 30 people doing different activity and in different angle and poses. So you can place them wherever you want in your scene and at the same time show the activity of the spaces much more efficiently. Now for the section plane. Keep a section plane in your desired location. Go to view and turn off section plane. Then go to styles panel, edit, turn off everything except edges and click on this icon and change the section line width to 2 and section fill color to one of the light blue and section line color to the darkest blue in our color palette. Under view, turn off the axis and guides. In camera, turn on parallel projection which is the best for axonometric diagrams. Save this as a scene. If you want, you can also turn on the shadows. I change the background to a light grey color 
and inside the shadows panel make the light and dark values as 80 and 70 respectively to give a more lighter shadow. You can also play with the sun position to choose an interesting shadow angle. Don't forget to save or update a scene once updates are done. Click on File, Export, then 2D Graphic. Select the location where you want to save and click on Options. Uncheck this box and enter a much higher value and click on OK and Export. This is the final result. Hope it was helpful. Let me know what you guys would like to see in the next video. See you all in the next one.